Yo, what's up? My name is Dr. Pat. Welcome back to my Dungeon Defenders series, relearning the game from scratch on the PC client. There's so much to learn. There's so much to do with Dungeon Defenders. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, we all know that I can probably beat all of the main campaign maps now on Nightmare Difficulty all the way up to Wave 25 in Survival. However, I haven't actually done that yet. I kind of just skipped all the way to Glitterhelm Cavern and did that one. So to be an actual completionist and play Dungeon Defenders properly, we have to go through every single map and beat every single one on Nightmare Difficulty, Hardcore Survival, all the way to Wave 25. And the next map in that order for me is Servant's Quarter. So this is going to be a really nice uh, video to go ahead and crack open a Baja Blast, have a nice little sandwich, play your own Dungeon Defenders game, do some relaxing grinding, and just sort of put this on in the background and enjoy while I take over Servant's Quarters. Or it'll be an absolute blow to my ego and I will be absolutely humbled and embarrassed as I lose on Servant's Quarters, even though I should be able to beat it for sure. Whatever you're watching for, I hope you super enjoy and I hope you like the video if you find yourself enjoying your time here today. And subscribe if you want to see an active Dungeon Defender YouTuber uploading every other day. Also, feel free to dislike if you don't enjoy my content, and if you need a break from Dungeon Defenders or just don't find yourself enjoying the content as of recently, feel free to unsubscribe. I really do want you guys to use my channel only if it's adding something positive to your day. If it stopped doing so, feel free to go ahead and change. I totally understand the ins and outs of jumping in and out of a hobby, in and out of a certain game, and you don't always want to see content of a certain game jumping up in your feed. I know that for a while when a game like League of Legends, I know I kind of have to be careful when I say that, it's kind of like the Voldemort of video games. Um, when I was playing that game and not having a very fun time, as no League of Legends player ever does, um, I had to start unsubscribing and putting not interested uh, sort of tags on League of Legends content creators, not because I disliked the content creators, but because I disliked the game and I needed to stop playing it because it made me a bad person. So, TLDR, I super understand if you need to kind of move on from Dungeon Defenders and my channel for certain periods of time, or maybe indefinitely, just play whatever you enjoy, have fun. That's something I always encourage, is just play whatever video game, use your time wisely. We only have so much of it on this earth, so enjoy it, right? That's Don't, don't take that as, a, oh, I shouldn't be wasting my time playing Dungeon Defenders. No, 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 no. People should probably be wasting more of their time having fun. If we're not here on this planet to have fun, and, you know, leave behind a little bit of a legacy where we can, then what are we doing, right? Most of us here are just trying to have a good time and leave a nice little positive impact. But enough cringe, morbid discussion around death and our life's purpose. Let's go ahead and do what we actually are here to do and what we really care about. Let's defend some dungeons. I'm going to be switching over to my Barbarian here to start this map on. We are jumping into Wave 8, so I mean, it's kind of technically possible I get overwhelmed and killed and lose to some extent, but I should be fine doing tons of damage with my Barbarian to actually gain mana using the Genie Pet. That's something I've been taking advantage of recently. Having the Barbarian out in these early waves to be able to get massive upgrades so aggressively and quickly on the Barbarian just is so good, honestly. Uh, I will say, yeah, I was about to say, I hear some Kobolds coming. Ooh... Is the, is the hit to my ego going to happen this early? I thought this was going to be enough for wave one. Is Did I not prepare enough for wave one? Uh-oh. Let me go ahead and crank out some upgrades on my auras. Maybe that'll help a bit. But I might just be dead. Dead in the water. Are you kidding me? I was so greedy. I think I should have... Oh, no, boys. I'm greedy. I'm arrogant. The ego is large. You know me. Oh, man. That's okay. We'll jump into it again. Let's go ahead and actually place out our... Just, let's just do minion archers this time. I think I wanted to worry about aura stacks, but I think that was kind of silly. I think just spamming around some, some archers is enough to take on this wave and this map. Aura stacks become such a core piece of Dungeon Defenders late game. It makes sense that I'd want to go ahead and just instinctively, I guess, kind of do that. But yeah, I, I think just sticking to archers is probably honestly ideal. Or maybe even just like doing partial aura stack maybe just like just doing a strength train aura or like maybe i don't need the electric aura how about that maybe i do like ensnare and strength train but don't need to worry about the electric quite yet that might be the strategy but what i do need is mana and that is something i am kind of sorely lacking let's go ahead and place this over here i guess yeah i'm kind of having a problem with my with the mana resources given on this first wave. Now, I am starting on wave eight, trying to make things a bit quicker, but it might just be better if I just start on, a, on an earlier wave. It's nice to start on later waves when possible, but yeah, starting on an earlier waves is gonna give me a lot more time to get that early setup and actually be able to take on this map a lot more guaranteed. I think instead of being on the Barbarian, I'm also going to go ahead and just play this wave on the Summoner. I had the right idea of like having um, 
getting more mana to hopefully crank out upgrades but honestly this early on i just need more towers built so i'd, I'd rather just stay on the summoner and just get more towers built where possible so let's go ahead and put an archer here i guess not the best positioning this build is not ideal uh, let's go ahead and jump into it and just get mana now our casting rate on our summoner is really bad in the during the wave itself which is kind of unfortunate but it's kind of the best we can do if i can't beat it here i are you kidding me that cobalt damage is disgusting uh i'm also dead huh did not think that playing servant quarter survival would be the most embarrassing dungeon defenders video i ever put out but uh here we are guys the face is beat red. The morale is low. Let's actually... Okay, now I start trying. Before, I just wasn't taking it seriously, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, let's start trying for real this time. All right, Servant's Quarters, Hardcore Mode, Survival, Mix... I have been doing Mix Mode. Let's do Wave 1. Let's, let's start from scratch. Let's do it properly. Jumping into Wave 1. I'm sure we can handle that. How many minions are spawning in at Wave 1? Let's see. 48. We can take care of that. All right, surely we've got to be good this time. I believe, okay? Only 48 minions. What could possibly go wrong? Let's go ahead and jump into wave one. But this time, once again, guys, we are trying, okay? Previously, you know, we just weren't trying. That's what it was. That's definitely not copium. That's the true reality. True, 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 true. True and real. Okay, we're doing good. Archer's taking care of things. Easy peasy. Ah, okay. Well, how is... How? How... <laughs> How am I still? Ah, wow. Still failing. Okay, well, interesting, interesting. There we are. Wave complete. Wave three out of 25 complete. We only have 22 more waves left, guys. How long could this possibly take? Okay, something kind of crazy that I almost didn't notice is that there's two mythical pieces of gear on the ground. Obviously, mythical doesn't really mean much to me at this point, but wave four, wave three, like the first wave of the entire map, and there's mythical i know we're on nightmare difficulty but wow okay we might see some actually cool gear drops later in the like the challenge then did i do not expect whenever i'm doing these sort of maps and just sort of knocking them off the list i'm not expecting any sort of actually good gear drops or upgrades so it's cool to possibly wow that's kind of sick switching over to my monk though it's time to actually go ahead and set up some aura stats that we've kind of been putting off uh, for at least one we put I guess we put it off for one wave is that really putting it off wow I guess wow from my end game perspective not building an aura stack until the second wave oh what a what a crazy delay but there we go we should only need one or two that one built over at that crystal and this one just over at this crystal I think it should have the range to where it's totally fine as long as it's reaching over here as well eh, it doesn't quite reach as far maybe I sell it actually and move it over a bit I want to make sure it hopefully can reach both areas to the point where i can uh like even that doesn't really quite reach honestly maybe with upgrades with the C does the series ev booster beam give benefits to the range of the aura i'm honestly not totally sure we'll just keep it there for the time being and see how that works maybe i'll have to end up moving back my archers a bit or so but there we go there's our aura stacks we shouldn't need more than that now it's time for our lighting towers i feel like lighting towers are going to clean up shop on this map i feel like this is a lightning tower slaughter map like this is insane um lightning towers are really just going to allow me to what do i even want to do here actually just like crank out a ton of lighting towers or how should i even do this um i kind of do just want to like uh, do a line of lightning towers essentially uh, i'm gonna have to get them i might have to maybe maybe, maybe that's fine we're at 47 out of 85 defense units. That that was a cool jump, actually. Can I do that again? That was kind of... Ooh, almost. It's like a, It was like a perfect... Okay. Now I want to... Oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm never going to hit that again. That was a one-time thing. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and have this built here. Like, here, I where do I want to put these at? Probably closer to, like... Ooh. Do I do, like, a wall of them here? It's a little less... A little more awkward, in my opinion. Well, actually, plus the ogre snot balls could splash and hit the... I don't think there's any way I can build them over here, actually, without them having that splash effect, to be fair. I probably just end up building... Okay. <clears throat> we'll do a wall right here, honestly. I think this is decent. It'll get some range over in that section as well. 68 out of 85. Maybe one more over here. I can get a series EV booster there. 75 out of 85. Hopefully, that leaves enough units for my series EV booster, but I do feel like... The lighting tower is going to do absolute work on this map. I feel like the lightning towers should be able to shred through um, and just chain all the way to the spawns of the minions. 
Just gonna do a really small little tower booster beam here that just simply costs four units, nothing super crazy. I don't think the archers honestly need the booster beams to that extent. Now this, we can do a little more here, do that and then do this. That should be pretty solid, honestly. And then I have, well, if I do that, to be fair, if I do that there, then I don't have a booster beam over here, but I think it's actually worth it. Getting the booster beam on all three lighting towers versus one and some archers, I think that actually is the better usage of it. So we'll go ahead and rock with that, but we are missing one defense unit on each stat, like one minion unit and one defense unit. So it's kind of awkward, but that's okay. We're going to rock with this for the time being. I'm not going to be building any more defense unit so i am going to switch over to my barbarian here just for the time being and try to pump some upgrades wherever i can let's go ahead and pump an upgrade into this obviously for example boosting your tower buff beams is some of the most efficient uh level ups you can put into towers we'll put one into the lighting tower there let's go ahead and jump into this wave four out of 25 so we're at max build capacity and we still have 21 waves of combat left to go keep that in mind we have a long way to go, fellas. Let's smash around, get tons of mana due to our beautiful genie, and then pump upgrades. Now it's going to be smash and pump. Usually we do some cranking and pumping. This episode is going to be a lot of smashing and pumping. I'm actually shocked at how easy that was. I didn't expect... I mean, I knew it was going to be... A, like, with the lighting tower set up, it'd be a lot easier, but I kind of didn't expect it to be that much easier, to be totally honest. It also does look like the aura stacks got extended. Look at this. I can't tell if it's just due to... Let's see over here. Yeah, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, no, no, significantly honest. Look at this. Before they were like at the line of the archers. So the series EV booster beam definitely like ups the range or maybe just level ups. No, I don't think I leveled up the towers much at all, honestly. That must just be from the booster beam. So the booster beam definitely significantly up the range of the aura stats, which is really, really cool to know and to see. All right, I did my smashing and I did my pumping. I pumped as much as I possibly could into as many towers as I possibly could. And the build is looking really solid. No three stars yet, but a couple one stars, honestly, at this point, which is really nice to see i think this is the point where we do our smashing and we do our pumping but honestly from this point onward we also just do our sort of passing as quick as possible so i'm going to start i honestly probably what i should do is get out max characters so right now i only have my barbarian out but i probably should bring up the emulator let's do that now actually just bring up our multiple characters i am probably gonna sit pretty pretty here is what i would say sit pretty pretty and essentially just lean back chill run around smash things with my smash things with my barbarian and just have a good time I, at this point i'm just going to be cranking through the waves and just waiting for things to end once you reach this level of stability in a survival map a lot of what it is is just waiting for minions to spawn if you have a really strong build you're just waiting for the for the combat wave to be over i shouldn't be losing anytime soon i should also be smashing a little bit more to be fair here i'm not doing quite enough smashing which will not allow me to do my pumping which i need to be aware of so let's go ahead and do that head back now we can do our pumping and i'll see you guys in the next wave this is actually the last minion there we go that ogre defeated 16 mythicals on the ground not bad not bad at all dude which i'm grab actually, i'm full mana somehow wow i guess from the damage i did to the that was a genie moment the fact that i was full mana there was kind of crazy the fact that i was able to just smack around the the orc for a little bit or the ogre for a little bit to get max mana i did not pick up much there that's kind of crazy we'll come over here just smash once again pump no we're not smashing there we're pumping excuse me um use the wrong technical term my mistake uh we did go get our minions or our, i guess our characters spawned on the map now so they'll pass they gain some xp it's not gonna be a crazy amount of xp and speaking of i am not passing this has to be a smash pump pass and i forgot the pass part so let's go ahead and actually pass and jump into the next wave should be pretty solid here come grab this chest while i have the time to do so some kobolds rushing in gotta keep an eye out for those guys and then some uh, and some pumping into our aura stacks there we go there's the wave complete and i'm getting so much mana from my smashing it's allowing me to pump way way more uh, are you guys getting sick of this joke yet or should i keep going i'll give you a break for one wave i guess we have 66 66 mythicals on the ground right now i don't know kind of like we're not even at wave eight yet that's kind of crazy to me. Like, this is not... This is a very early game, if not, like, mid-game map for Dungeon Defenders. The idea of being able to play this, like, that's pretty, pretty cool to me. So, it's cool to see, honestly. Let's go ahead and go grab... Honestly, it gives me an idea. I haven't really thought about this or theorycrafted much about this, but playing Survival on my Hardcore Iron Man, not something I considered as a good strategy, but now it's kind of something I'm kind of evaluating or thinking about that's kind of interesting. So, we'll go ahead and jump into this, get some upgrades. Obviously, we're pumping... Or, sorry. We're... <clears throat> We are leveling our towers. Excuse me. That is the very much less interesting term. 
All right, with this tower upgrade, I will have completed my <clears throat> leveling of towers in between waves. So let's go ahead and jump into the next wave here. Wave seven out of 25. I can press control G. I'll be perfect. We'll be passively getting some XP on all of my characters here as well. It won't be too much XP, honestly. But hey, man, every little bit of XP at this point, I feel like I am struggling to gain XP. I don't know what to do. I, I kind of feel like maybe I just need to do another like loot from 10 hour grind video or something. But I know you're not really supposed to i've been told many times it's not good advice it's not good gameplay to just grind for xp in dungeon defenders uh you probably should just like grind for gear and then getting xp passively is kind of the way to do it but and, and honestly i get it like i'll probably feel that way a lot more and feel a lot more comfortable with that when i have my first level 100 right and in reality once you're level 100 you're level 100 so why not just passively take the extra benefit it's almost like passive um good efficiency to just go for gear and then slowly get the xp but i don't know man maybe it's the new noob, noob in me i really really want a level 100 character like i want a level 100 character and i want all my characters to be level 90 so badly i want that i want that i want to be able to equip all the gear possible and not have to worry about it wave complete easy peasy seven out of 25 i'm probably not even going to I'm not even going to go around and get all the chests. I'm just going to jump into it. Control G. Spam it as soon as possible. Save as much time, boys. Jump into it. I probably need to do some repairs here on my little ore stacks, though. There's wave eight complete as well. So much mana. Wow, that's actually... Okay, I need to pump upgrades to get... And uh, be able to go pick that up. Because I, I actually don't want to jump into this next wave without at least picking the... Is that two blue crystals? Plus, there was a chest that I didn't quite get to open. But that's okay. Ah, is it gone? It's through the door. Okay, we sucked it through the door, boys. 122 mythicals on the ground by the way we are at wave nine we are definitely i would bet my life savings there's no shot we definitely see transcendent th this this challenge there's no way we don't also this is kind of where it gets worth to like run around and actually go grab all the or just open the chests at least i'm kind of actually trying to putting in a little bit of effort to open all the chests once the waves get long enough to where it's gonna be hard to like not do that i mean we'll talk about that honestly i kind of want to just jump into actually we're gonna jump into the wave here we're gonna jump into the wave here so many of these archers what i've been trying to do is stand near a minion spawn slash around pick up mana etc etc and then just go pump it in just pump it where this this is the pump and smash strategy or I guess smash and then pump, excuse me. We go ahead, we smash the door. We don't hold the door. We just we just smash it. We just smash through it. We go pump. And then we go back to smashing the door. Fun gameplay, fellas. I mean, that sounded okay, sound kind of sarcastic slash passive aggressive, but I actually, <laughs> maybe I'm just dumb. This actually is extremely fun gameplay to me. It's like very satisfying. Human like to see big number and to also see big number go up. I've literally only been here for like half, like literally like half a wave, right? Keep that in mind. I've been here for, look, look how fast I get max mana. I've been here for half a wave. All of these archers were like level one, like almost none of them were one starred. And now all of them are, look at that, max mana basically in a second. Now all of them are at least one starred. That's so, look at this, max mana immediately. We head over here. Like, I'm just gaining mana so much faster than I'm actually able to spend it. We go, we go grab max. We come back over. We're at max. Okay, we're at max mana again. Okay, cool. We go pump it into uh, the tower buff beam. We'll three-star that. I mean, sure. We'll jump over here for a split second. Okay, max mana. Okay, cool. Uh, head back to the lightning towers. Pump into that, the, the, you know, as quick as I possibly can. Literally getting max mana faster than my ability to pump it. Okay, now I guess the wave's over, so ugh, no more mana. Lame. There's the wave complete. There's also like this. Wait a minute. Look at this. This these this whole aura stack actually has taken significant damage. I'll have to keep a little bit more of an eye on that. I assume some minion is like getting stuck and not being able to get taken out and then just slowly draining it down. I will actually have to watch out for that because that be if, if the aura stack goes down, I mean, I could lose as ridiculous as it would be. It's definitely possible. Also, this section needs a little more support now that um. I've been sticking over at that other spot for, for one full wave. We just switch spots. So now, now this wave, I'll basically just sit here, attack stuff, kill stuff, and then run back here and pump upgrades. So we're into wave 10 here. Now this will actually be one of the significant differences. Also seeing a lot of mythicals consumed there. 29 million mana. Not bad, dude. That is not bad. 29 million mana. Um, Once again, at wave 10 of a pretty like early to mid game map I, I whenever i play these whenever i do these challenges of, of doing all the maps completing them all on nightmare survival i think of it as like oh you know i'm mostly just checking something off of my list but i think i may be drastically underestimating like the actual rewards like by doing this 
quote unquote complete just completionist grind um i'm actually getting like way more xp and way more mana than i realized so it's actually it's just fun and good and completionist it kind of a, you know knocks every bird out with one stone uh yes 20 birds with one stone my favorite boomer saying Look at all of these beautiful archers with their three stars. Once again, just hanging out over in this area, hacking and slashing just kind of got me there decently quickly. But look at this. The aura stack, same one that was having problems previously, has taken a fair bit of damage. I'll have to keep more of an eye on that. Uh, how many? 130 mythicals. Let's go open the chest to see how many more we can actually put on the map. 146 mythicals on the ground as we jump into the next wave here my setup is feeling uber strong now i'm probably just going to start spamming control g as soon as possible whenever i'm given the chance now let's go ahead and pump the upgrade there the one that we have access to there and i'm going to start getting back over to my hack and slash little brain dead fun i just it is so satisfying to hold down as i'm about to die from the spider webs um to hold down both your left and right click on your mouse and just smash around with the barbarian oh what a fun class dude i'm a barbarian stand till the day i die dude i i love this guy another nice lineup of three star soldiers oh i did mess up there a little bit oh shit okay i actually was heading over because i knew it had been a while since i came over to heal one of these okay i did actually just lose a tower buff beam and a strain train aura that's unfortunate but that was just that was laziness and, and just a human massive massive human error error mistake but thankfully it is towards the end of the wave we shouldn't be losing anytime soon but we should be i'll have to repair that all right there we go there's the wave complete wave 11 out of 25 let's fix our mistake that we made here should be the yep a nice little tavern defense thing let's switch over to oh my monk is out on the map i will say that's a little awkward but that's okay i can, I can kind of just switch over to him then also i mean that's good i can go ahead and use he should have a ton of mana so what i'll need to do is build a new i think it was a strength drain aura that went down i need a new strength drain aura right there and i'll go ahead and honestly just pump all the mana that he has on him into that that's kind of perfect we can then drop his mana and then switch over to i need my series ev which is not out on the map so We'll head over here, drop mana, switch over to series EV, and build a new booster beam. I always like to say this, but I will say on the PC version, at least like worst, worst, worst case scenario. Uh, I can actually go ahead and move this all the way up to six units right now. Perfect. That's so nice, honestly. Um, worst, worst, worst case scenario. I can always replay this map starting from the last wave that I was actually able to get to. So I had never previously played this map on Nightmare, um, Nightmare Difficulty Survival. I put it on a Nightmare, but not Survival. So... Any like new wave that I get to, like wave 12, like this is like my new this is my new PB on the map. So I'll be able to continue. If I if I happen to lose through some weird, strange reason, like a disconnect or something crazy, you know, I can always jump back into it, thankfully. My helmet that I have is not that good. Huh? Mythical and lucky chain cap? Wow. This is not a good piece of gear. What is my level at on my series? If you 88, so I guess I can't equip. Wait, can I equip Transcendence? Why is my helmet piece so bad? I have not upgraded this, really? That seems crazy. Can I equip Transcendent on this? Oh, I can. Okay, let me actually see if I have a quick upgrade, actually, for my Series EV, because that seems like a really not great cap. Like, compared to this, like, look at all the stat increases on that in comparison. That's pretty wild. Yeah, I have access to way better gear. What am I doing with this shitty helmet, boys? Okay, let's try to find an upgrade. Okay, we have a few, like one or two, it seems like, transcendent caps right here. Yeah, both of these are huge upgrades. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to do another episode where I kind of dig through all this stuff and see what upgrades I have access to because I'm pretty sure... I'm going to go ahead and just... I might just delete both of these. Maybe at least, at least this one. Um... I probably have upgrades sitting in my PC. There's just so many characters. When you have so many characters to sort through possible upgrades, also the Sauron Eye that is in there, um, the possible upgrades you have access to are so crazy. It's just really easy to get distracted and forget about them. Let me also switch off of my Series EV and hop back over to my Barbarian, the much cooler hero. This Series EV booster beam does need full upgrades now, so I'll be trying to pump whatever mana I can into since it's like the most important tower to upgrade in the game. And here's already the three star, hell yeah. All right, took me a second to repair after that, I guess, mistake of a wave. But here we are, wave 12 out of 25, jumping into it. I'll see you guys with the easy wave completed screen. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll even maybe show you some smashing and some pumping here and there when I can. All right, this should actually be the last level up over in this area, I believe, which is really cool. There we go. Three-star upgrade on that. All of these are three-star. This entire, everything protecting this crystal is now three-starred. Awesome. 
And look at this. I'm kind of encountering the same problem. I have to make sure I repair. Honestly, I might just need to jump on my summoner and just like pop up some flash heals. I think well, that's probably what I'll be doing here very, very, very soon. I'll be reaching max upgrades on everything. And once I'm at max upgrades on everything, there's not really a reason to remain on the Barbarian. The, the Barbarian's really just there to help you accelerate your upgrades and accelerate your mana. So if I'm at max upgrades, I might as well just sit on the summoner AFK and just spam a flash shield every two minutes. Ooh, I wasn't quite paying enough of attention. I think I did my last upgrade. Sorry for doing it off camera, but I think every single tower on the map is now three starred. Very satisfying, very completionist, which just plays into the themes of today's episode. There we go. Wave 12 complete and a level up. Okay, we'll take it. A level up on the barb. You love to see it. No, not Barbie. The barbarian. Okay, I know that I'm stretching jokes really hard today for content, guys. Okay, just, just bear with me. Wow, a level up on my Barbarian. Wow, very cool. Very interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into what I want to put it into here. Uh, I don't actually know. I really like the Siphon Stance, but I, I don't know what you're really supposed to dump into here, to be totally honest. My resistances are actually pretty solid. I think I just go into either HP or damage. I think I need HP for the maps that I enjoy playing the Barbarian the most with, which is the... Um, like reverse tower defense maps, the assault maps. I couldn't think of them for a second. The assault map. So we'll do that for what I care about. I haven't really been in, I had a close death stare kind of here for a split second, honestly, earlier, but nothing I was really, really worried about. I kind of put myself in that situ situation on purpose, spice things up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to focus on what I want to be able to do with my barbarian, not what I really need to work on, I guess. Let's we'll go ahead and control G after upgrading this or uh, healing this aura stack here. That obviously always takes a fair bit of damage. Now we can just jump in. 3,000! Over 3k minions here! That is an important milestone. That is cool to see. I will say, I should have actually switched to my summoner there. That was actually kind of a mistake on my end. I absolutely should have switched to my summoner. There's no reason to now be on my Barbarian. There's actually zero reason. Everything is three-starred. The DPS that I that I can, I guess, increase. And the speed at which I caused the map to finish at by me just running around and smashing things, it's actually not that good. Um, it'd be much more efficient if I was just on my summoner. Okay, I don't know how I missed this, but wait a minute. I do actually have one tower that isn't three-starred. So I can show you guys the completion of all the three stars on camera. Wow. That's kind of cool, I guess. There are some times where the shaman over here, this happens like all the time on this map. He gets stuck over here in this weird little corner. The archers can't reach him. The lightning towers can't reach him. So you do have to go manually smack him around. But there we go. Wave 13 complete. Wave 14 shouldn't be anything exciting. Wave 15 will be worth talking about and showing to you guys in decent detail since that will be one of the big, uh, I guess, power creep or power level ups. Again, every five waves within a survival map, there's a pretty decent power difference. A big little buff that happens more minions higher power higher hp like everything right so we'll see that'll be a good benchmark to see if we'll actually be able to defeat the map in the long term let me run back here so i can grab this chest really quick look how fast i am with tornado stance it looks so fun a few minions left looking at 126 mythical pieces of gear on the map there we go wave complete for 14 out of 25 jumping into 25 here only used weapons wait a minute what is that oh there's a pet too the wave 15 pet bushy added to the item box i love those stupid are any of those okay quick question for the for the for the very talented and informed dungeon defenders community is there any chipmunk pet that's like viable that's worth using because god damn are they cute and i just love even the sprite for them they're just so darn chunky and i if i could use a chunky pet efficiently in dungeon defenders i mean sign me up dude let's see if we can get any nice uh gear drops actually what i'm gonna do really quick is run around and open all the chests and then i'm actually gonna switch let's switch so i do want to get rid of my summoner essentially my summoner is over here we're going to change my summoner Drop all of his mana, I guess. Swap him over to what character? I guess maybe the series EV or something like that. I actually, okay. I actually really want to level Pat DPSD. My dude, this guy is so cool. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get him set up. My monk, my DPS monk. I feel like my DPS monk should at some point replace my barbarian, but I have to put a lot of work into him before he's actually able to effectively do that. So we'll work on that. Switch over to my summoner here allow myself to pop off some flash shields and just kind of uh, very, very chill and cook here. Okay, there is actually a uh, accessory on the ground over here, which honestly looks super cool. I don't think it's actually worth equipping, but looked very, very, very cool. 
I'm going to actually phase out on my summoner before even jumping into this. There's just no reason to be phased in. I'm going to go ahead and press control G, jump into it. And then I actually am going to switch over to my DPSD and put on my defense boost. I don't know if he'll be able to gain enough mana from stuff straggling over to him for him to actually keep the tower boost on all the time he might need to like i might need to be more active on him to have that happen we could watch his manager he's currently at 1265 mana out of 1500 so his mana will get drained as he uses that but look at this the yellow glowing like he's going to be boosting my towers pretty aggressively with his passive effect the monk's ability the tower boost ability i really want to start i feel like it could be so ridiculously powerful and i really want to start learning that slash abusing that so I, I don't even honestly i don't even need to if I'm doing that, maybe I don't need to be on my summoner to even do flash heals. Nothing's taking damage. He's healing it all. I could probably just main Pat DPSD here, which would allow me to do front flips and back flips on camera. Now we're talking. We're on 10 more minions to defeat here. I thought wave 15 would be an interesting one worth looking over and talking about, but in actuality, uh, it's actually pretty easy and it's more interesting to talk about how cool the summoner looks in phase out mode. There was the wave complete screen in the book animation. <laughs> Dude, I just love the visuals of the summoner. I actually like never get, he never gets old. I feel like he's easily the coolest looking character in all of Dungeon Defenders. Okay, for the sake of my own enjoyment and fun, I actually am going to go ahead and switch over to the uh, Pat DPSD. So I'm basically going to swap my summoner over to just some whatever hero, essentially. Like something that's not actually, I'm not actually going to sit on. And I'm going to then swap my pat dpsd the guy who does the backflips the very very cool character i'm going to switch him i'm gonna drop the man actually over to the summoner so i'll still have the summoner on the map gaining xp actually we'll do the ev get the, let's get the ev up to level 90 we don't really need the summoner on the map do we uh, unless i really desperately need flash shields but i think i should be fine uh then we'll switch back over to the barbarian drop my mana appropriately and now we can be on the much co even cooler barbarian the back flipping ninja pet dpsd perfect let's go ahead and jump into the next wave here there's 145 pieces of mythical on the ground right now when i press Control g watch that bottom right hand corner to see how much mana we get from all that being consumed 86 million i'm pretty sure it's also someone said that mana amount is actually times four um due to the amount of characters that i have on the map so that's actually 320 i believe if my quick math is around 320 330 million mana that's kind of disgusting i don't really think about that like that wow my mage has also managed to gain 14 million xp which is disgusting while all the other heroes have gained around 2.3 2.4 that's the difference of how much work lightning towers are putting in that really shows it that's so nuts my first wave maining the pat dpsd i already went ahead and got a level up which is awesome we'll go ahead and deal with that after this wave is over all right, that is the end of wave 16 and we have a quick little level up here we are on our dpsd so i think i'm just dumping things i'm pretty sure into tower boost that is the thing that i care the most about on this hero and i haven't actually put that many stats into the tower boost i probably need to actually start significantly working on that a bit more pumping some quick heals here into this i think it might be worth is it really worth going around and opening all the chests i can actually do that mid wave i guess time is definitely gonna be something i kind of consider here possible upgrades actually being dropped are also something i should look out for while on my monk that's not quite an upgrade for me to be totally honest looking at the tower boost stats that's the main thing i do care about here. a little bit of a, a little bit of a floating there i'm gonna go ahead and just jump into the next wave and go try to run around and grab the chest wherever possible but honestly these kind of maps take so long like obviously i have no i have no in-game time crunch restriction it's honestly just an irl thing i don't want to have to spend three hours if possible cranking off another i guess checking off another map off the list the more time saved equals more d d dungeons i'll be able to actually defend in the future I've officially reached the point where I just alt tabbed out, alt tabbed back in, and the wave was done. And that was it. And I'm just absolutely hard turbo chilling. At this point, it's where the map becomes a metric of how long do I have to go on for before I make a massive mistake and let one of my auras go down? Or do I disconnect from my internet and that's about the only way I could lose? Well, there's only really one way to find out if one of those is going to happen. Let's jump into the next wave, fellas. There we go, another wave complete. Checking all the gear that's on the ground that might possibly be considered an upgrade. Look at these lighting towers. Going absolute ape there. Kind of funny to see. 
Uh, I don't think there's anything super interesting on the ground. I'm keeping an eye out for those. I, I can't imagine this map will give me an ultimate drop, but after losing that ultimate drop from a dumb mistake, now I almost always like keep a super big eye out for that blue glow. So I'm going to go ahead and just control G here, jump into the next wave, and I'll see you guys with wave 20. Wave 20 will be another big benchmark, so we'll see if anything interesting comes of that. Oh shit, okay, I did not expect to see this. I mean, I did talk about it, I guess, earlier in the uh, the map itself, but I didn't expect to see it this early. We're only at wave 19. There is a piece of transcendent gear on the map over here. I kind of want to go ahead and try to pick it up now, if possible. Here it is. Yeah, we can just go ahead and store that. Honestly, not a bad piece, I feel like, at all, either. We'll go ahead and take that. We also have a level up that I'll be able to dump into as soon as this wave is over, and around 250 more monsters. There is wave 19 complete. Wave 20 will be a benchmark. I'm also kind of curious if we'll be able to get transcendent drops from the chests. Oh yeah, our level, I almost forgot our level up. We can put that into a tower boost. Someone told me recently, I might have been like Chiku, or one of the, one of the more, uh, you know, all around the Dungeon Defenders community, always smart and talented, spreading information and advice and helping tons of new players, types of people. Uh, someone said something about um, that the, the drops from chests on average, are better than the drops from minions. And that makes total sense once once I heard it verbally, but I never thought about it before. Like, I actually never considered that. I never thought of that as even an option, but it makes total sense. This video has ended up being a hefty piece of background content. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this next wave. Make sure if you haven't already, to, if you made it to this point, I feel like you gotta like the video or at least dislike. Do one or the other, that's for sure. If you're hate watching, I mean, I get it. You know, feel free to dislike. Let's go jump into it. Wave 20 out of 25. Hoping we don't have any problems here. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on the health of my towers. Other than that, we should just be cooking. I haven't really moved this spot very much, to be totally honest. Look at that. Look at that chandelier up there. Why is that chandelier so high up? How is that ever actually going to provide any light? What a silly architecture design. I think the most interesting part about wave 20 so far is that for the first time, some other towers are actually taking damage. So yeah, as you can see, actually, those three lightning towers have been taking a little bit of damage here and there. So instead of just solo healing my auras i've also been throwing up my tower boost every now and again i actually took a lot of damage oh i might get killed i need to get out of here actually I'm also lagging a fair bit because i'm exporting a video so apologies plus there's just so many animations going on in game right now i mean it's kind of insane it honestly doesn't surprise me too much that i'm getting a little bit of lag i do have a gtx 3050 not the best graphics card by any means but pretty solid i would argue um yeah getting some lag here on a, on a 12 year old game i do know all the activity happening in the game kind of crazy we made it all the way to wave 21. We might as well open the chests, I guess. Looking out for those pieces of transcendent mostly. If I'm not seeing drops of transcendent, I am just gonna go ahead and move on. But at this point, I do think it is at least worth checking all the chests before just jumping straight into the combat wave. All right, nothing really of note. It's been a long day of defending our dungeon. Let's go ahead and finish it out, fellas. Let's wrap it up. Wave 22 has officially been clicked through, boys. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of getting sick of checking the chests. I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of, it's been a tuckered day, fellas. It's been a long day. I think this map is, just, I, I think I said at the beginning, oh, I, I hope this doesn't take like three hours as a joke. And I think it's been around three hours, fellas. However, who cares if it takes three hours because there is a transcendent drop. And I actually did just get it from this chest. We're gonna go ahead and store that. So, okay, I better get over how tuckered I am because it is worth to go check all these chests. If there's decent chance of transcendence, not from that one, though. Get me out of here. Throw up our little tower boost for a quick sec. Ooh, another piece of transcendent actually dropped on the ground. That one not from a chest, I believe. All right, another level complete and a level up on our character. We're going to dump back into tower boost as we're mainly doing on this character. We also have two transcendent drops to go check out. Let's go ahead over towards the first one. We can also crack open that chest while we're over here before even picking up the piece of transcendence. All right, it should be a glove item slot right over here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and store it. I don't know if it's great, but that'll do. And then here's our other piece of transcendent on the ground. I'll just go ahead and store it once again, like the other piece for the time being. And then other than that, I think I cracked most of the chest. There's actually one more up on this catwalk walkway up here. I'll go grab really quickly. And then after this, if there's no transcendence, we will immediately, yep, jump into the next wave. Wave 23 to 25. This is actually probably the most important wave to get done. Because after this, this is like the most important wave to start from again. If everyone want to play this map again. 
All right, another wave complete. There we go, 23 out of 25. Only two more waves of combat left, guys. Oh, I'm getting reinvigorated now that we're actually kind of close to closing out. Also, I realized so every hero of mine has a level up. Dude, I got a little distracted. Wait, wow. That's actually crazy good XP. Okay, I should be doing this kind of map at least once a week. I think just checking these maps off my list, getting me this amount of XP, that's so good. That's so good. I'm actually going to dump into, I think, Aura Radius on my Monk. I want to keep cranking that up so I can have larger Aura Radiuses on Nightmare Difficulty especially. Is there a cap for Aura Radius on Nightmare Difficulty, or is it just is it just a minimization that I can keep affecting? I guess that's an important question. Let me go ahead and uh, come over to the Series EV Booster Beam. I kind of want to put this one into HP. I don't know why. It's just the vibe I'm feeling. Not very good reasoning there. Sure. Over on the Mage. Look at this. All these level ups, dudes. All these level ups. Um... I haven't upgraded the area of effect in a long time on the Lightning Strike Tower. I don't think it really matters, though, to be totally honest. I think I either go into attack rate or base damage. Do I really just keep going damage? I think I do, like, on the mage. Like, besides base damage, I really don't know. Like, I think you just keep cranking base damage and want to eventually just have Lightning Tower not only extend to the... Because I don't think you need a, like, range on it. I think it already it ends up... The whole point is it's a Lightning thing. It chains to the Absolute Door. Like, it gets... It reaches where the minions are spawning from pretty much every time. Let's go ahead and go... There's one piece of Transcendent on the map that I'll have to go check. I'm going to check whatever chest I can in that exact same process trying to check accessories but i've seen really bad all the accessory drops on this map i have to jump so many times to get over that little wall of everything there we go a transcendent drop we'll go ahead and store sure why not uh, a little bit of guys taking a little bit of damage over here should also be look at all the jumps just to get through things i'll go ahead and store that for the time being not high enough level to be able to equip any transcendent gear on my dps monk uh not yet at least i'm level I'm, i might get it though by the end of this that'd be amazing if by the end of this i could actually reach I'm level 77 and i need about 8 million more xp it's decently possible i can actually get there that would be super 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 cool to see did i grab this chest i don't remember looks like i did which means i'm good to go ahead and jump into the next wave let's see how much mana i get from consuming all of this 141 mythicals also much higher tier mythicals 101 million mana and i think it's per character so 400 million mana there boys all right another wave down guys honestly a big one as well the last wave before the last wave let's go ahead this is our okay this is our last chest check then and there we go for our last chest check that's a that's a mouthful chest check okay we go ahead and we get one piece of transcendent to start it off so pretty good rng so far no pieces of transcendent were dropped from monsters that wave so all we have are our chests chest number two of the last check nothing let's do chest number three <laughs> what a what an absolute maze to jump through i always think it's going to be in that this section right here but it's actually one more over okay we have one more chest i believe two more maybe Let's see, look at these archers actually taking a little bit of damage here as well. Got to keep an eye. I try to always, I try to jump over here and use my tower boosting beam, or not my boosting beam, but my buff effect on my hero every so often. No pieces of transcendent. Well, so one piece, one piece from checking all of the chests. Shout out to Luffy. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it, fellas. Wave 25 out of 25. We can finally call this a close. What a long Saturday or Sunday it's been. Oh my God, the days are mushing together. I will see you guys with another completed challenge. Another giant map checked off the list. 4,500 total minions coming in. Also, like I talked about, at the end of this wave, I should get a nice little XP boost and I should be able to get level 78, unlocking my ability to actually equip Transcendence on this map on my dps monk which is really really cool to see there also is one piece of transcendent on the ground right now to check at the end of the map we're only around halfway done the wave and now we're up to three pieces of transcendent on the ground four pieces of transcendent on the ground the number rises i'm gonna let them actually just sit there until the map is totally completed and we'll go view them each one by one at the end well, I guess we didn't even need the wave to actually end. I've already went ahead and secured the level up. No more pieces of Transcendent. It's kind of funny that all four dropped in the first half of the wave. And then it just cooled off. Only two more minions left here. I see one Shaman left. I see... There we go. I see nothing left. That is GG's. 
Watch all these towers disappear. There's so much built. Four more giraffe on a treadmills to add to the collection. Something I love to throw around my tavern. Four pieces of transcendent on the map. We're going to put this level up over into the tower uh, buff ability. And then our other heroes are looking pretty solid among XP. Man, what a long... I'm actually excited to see... I don't want to return to my tavern too hastily. I want to see... I'm going to store that. I'm not even going to check the stats on it since it's a uh, hunter's weapon. I want to see how long I spent on this. As I spent a long time. And I can equip... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, this is... Okay, I was getting confused with gloves. We'll go ahead and just uh, store this for now. If we ended up with a piece of transcendent that is like a monk weapon or whatever here, that would be super, super awesome. Is that what this might be? Poisonous ferocity. Is this a weapon? Is that what it is? It's mythical. What is the... The trans oh, it's the staff. Okay, transcendent staff, I guess. Uh, that will not be a buff for my monk here. It's funny, the cardboard tube. The cardboard tube really does end up being the strat for quite a while, hilariously. Head in here to see another purple. Is it another? Why do I get so many Huntress weapons? Uh, my Huntress is one of the few characters I have that's like not even close to like level 78, I feel like. I'm pretty sure it's like 74, something like that. This is not that far, but I get so many Huntress Transcendence, it's hilarious, I feel like. But man, what a journey, what a map. That took a long time. Let's go ahead and see. Two hours and 20 minutes. It felt longer. I don't know if I pause at all. Two hours and 20 minutes just to go ahead and complete that all in one session. Waves in combat 23. Let's head back to... uh. Let's head back to the tavern. I started this episode, I believe, with around 20 billion mana. And I've, I'm going to guess I'm at 23 billion. I feel like I gained a lot of mana there. And a fair bit of XP. That was just... All of that was so much better than I expected. Let's go ahead and see. Show me the number. 26! Double my estimate. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I feel like doing these survival challenges might actually get me way more progress than I expected. I thought this would just be a thing to check off the list, but this actually progressed my account and progressed my game plan so significantly, giving me, like, what? A total of, like, a 25% increase in total mana that I have access to? That's insane! Woo! What a day. What an episode. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed it. Like it if you enjoyed it once again. Dislike if not. And subscribe for Dungeon Defenders content every other day. I'll be seeing you guys on the flip side. Chill out, Griffin. I'm doing an outro. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Areno. Yo, thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video. And a huge shout out to everybody listed here who goes above and beyond, supports the Patreon, and allows me to focus more on Dungeon Defenders content. Thanks again. Have a great day.